Now, Biko's Mana is a talented sibling duo comprising of Biko and her younger brother, Mana. They went from performing on the pavements of Maboneng every weekend to performing at the presidential house for President Cyril Ramaphosa. Groomed by two musical legends, Becky Koza and Tunokwe, the young singers have a holistic approach to their music. Let's have a look at a little snippet of Biko Mana, Biko's Mana's, Biko's Mana mm. performing in Maboneng. talented are these kids so we are joined now on the couch by Biko's Mana and their mom Ayanda so please do connect with us online if you've got any questions for the sibling duo and tell us about something that you started doing at a young age please remember to use the hashtag afternoon express in your comments welcome to the show guys <laughs> wow. wow so talented when I first heard about you what really caught my eye was the name Biko's Mana because it reminded me of heaven's mana like a gift from heaven so tell me about the name I think you named them <laughs> yes yes uh, actually the ca the name um, my gra my aunt came up with the name because yeah. mana because we used to call them Biko mana yeah and they were like no there's no catch to it you know yeah. she's the creative Ooh, no yeah. so she she was like what about Biko's mana and it just had such a deep meaning you know yeah. it's like Biko when I was pregnant with him she couldn't wait yeah. to have somebody to play with so yeah. it's like mana is hers and you know as soon as he oh. came to this world she was like taking care of him <laughs> but also Biko referring to our great leaders who've done such great yeah. things for us this is now our mana like yeah. what we're experiencing are the yeah, results the of everything that they've been doing sure. in the past uh, so that's how it came about you know so I've got three little brothers. Does he always feel like a little blessing to you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell yeah. the truth. Good, tell the truth now. <laughs> speak, speak. <laughs> So you guys are exceptionally talented and of course grew up in a house yeah. with amazing musicians. Like mm -hmm. I think your grannies were in Black Angels. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you had music around you all the time. What was the thing that you guys can remember that happened in your life when you thought, mm, I'm going to follow in, in the footsteps of these legends? Um, when I was a child, I used to like <laughs> music. Yeah. Um, I used to like sit in the pram. <laughs> And then I, I used to like watch um, people rehearse at the rehearsal, and I, I was inspired by um, Kuluke Fasi and Leta um, Mbuli. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I loved music when I was a child. Yeah. I really liked music. Did you love music when you were a child too? <laughs> yes, I loved music so much. <laughs> what else did you really love? Um, you know. <laughs> okay, tell yes. all of us. <laughs> Um, I loved like skateboard and yeah. music, yeah. <laughs> so you guys perform at the markets, of course, in Maboneng. Yeah. What's it like performing and having all of these people enjoy your music? Do you get a little bit nervous? Um, um, I'm actually famous at Maboneng. We're actually famous at Maboneng. Oh, I have so no doubt. Everybody uh, knows us at Maboneng. Sure. So <laughs> um, we feel really good when people... Um, watch us play the guitar in Moboneng. I yes. also feel good when I see them happy. Yeah. And it's just a nice place to bask um, in. So, yeah. yeah. It really is a good place yeah. to bask in. Fame is wonderful. But so is like great music appreciation. Tell me how you guys come uh, up with your music. Do you write it yourselves? Um, I sometimes write my own music. Um, sometimes Mana write his own music. And yeah. sometimes we compose songs together. Sometimes we separate songs together, so yeah. What does your future look like? What do you want to be when you yeah. grow up? I want to be a pilot. A pilot? <laughs> a singing pilot? Actually, yeah. he, actually he decided that today. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, so, I'm sure it's going to change a lot by the time you might. Thank you so much for being here yeah. today. And we're looking Thank forward you. to you performing a little bit later. What are you going to be singing for us? We are going to be singing Africa. And um, this song I composed because um, the first time I met um, Mamouini Mandela, I yeah. was really inspired by her. And then I just ran and just locked myself in the room and just composed the yeah. song for her. So. Well, you're not only going to be famous in Maboneng. We're trying to get you famous yeah. across the whole of South Africa. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what South Africa has to say. <laughs> Definitely having South Africa buzzing on the socials. And we've asked you on our social media platforms, do you have any questions for the sibling duo? And tell us about something that you started at a young age. So we've got Aisha here saying they look mighty adorable. I started many things from a young age, but failed at consistency. I would like to say to them to keep at it and most experienced especially enjoy what they do. Wow. So definitely I hope you guys are taking notes. We've also got another here comment from Uzilke Valasha who says, my kids love them. They are both in Mamsa Kile's story house. I think we'll be watching homework can, can be done after. Mm -hmm. Look, we definitely want to encourage everyone to do your homework, <laughs> but I know you've got lots of fans viewing at home. Shout out That's to you beautiful. guys. That's beautiful. <laughs>